Hello everyone. So till now we know that uh, there are three types of feature selection methods. That is filter method, wrapper method, and the embedded methods, right? So in our last video, we have already covered the filter method. So in this video, we'll concentrate on wrapper method. So we'll get the answer to the question, explain the wrapper methods in the feature selection. Okay, so let's start with wrapper method. Okay, so wrapper methods again, basically of three types. First is forward selection, forward select forward feature selection second is backward elimination method elimination method and the third is exhaustive feature selection method exhaustive Feature selection method. So let's start with the first technique that is forward selection method. Okay, so what happens in forward selection method? Forward feature selection. So what basically happens in wrapper method? It will take the subset of the features and apply machine learning algorithm in that and uh, that it will uh, work on that subset of the features only, okay? So in forward feature selection, let's assume that our data has uh, four types of features, F1, F2, F3, and F4, and our target variable is Y, okay? So it will take the uh, several subset of the features, okay? So let's understand how it will select this uh, subset so it will take various uh, iterations to find out the uh, features. Okay, so in the first it iteration, in the first iteration, what it will do, it will select single, single features. So let's assume it select one features, F1, apply model in that, okay, and evaluate it. On the basis of evaluation, it found some evaluation scope. Okay, then it select the second feature, F2, and apply model again and uh, evaluate it and find the score. So like that, it will take all the single, single features. Okay, apply model in that and find out the score. Okay, then let's assume that F3 performs better. Okay, the score for F3 is good among all these things. Okay, so in second iteration, what it will do? Second iteration, what it will do? It will take F3 and with F3, it will combine uh, one more feature. For example, with F3, it combines F1 and apply the model and find the score. Okay. Similarly, with F3, it will take F2 and apply the model and find out the score. Okay. Similarly, with F3, it will apply F4 and apply the model and find out the score. So, for example, this combination of features performed better. Okay. So, in third iteration, what it will do? In third iteration, it will take this combination first and will try with F1. And with the same combination, it will try F4, apply it on model and find out the scope. So like that, in each and every step, what it is doing, it is adding single, single features, okay? So for example, this particular combination of features perform best, so it will finalize these particular features, okay? So these are the set of the features selected by your forward feature selection method, okay? So this process is continued until we get the desired number of features. Okay, so in each iteration, it will keep adding one one features and continue the process until we get the desired numbers of features. Okay, so we have to uh, finalize how many features you want. So it will uh, 
continue the process up to that number of features. Okay. So let's move towards the second technique that is backward elimination method. Backward elimination method. Okay. So in backward elimination, it is exact opposite of uh, the forward, uh, forward feature selection. Exact opposite of forward feature selection technique, okay? So like in forward feature selection, what we were doing, we took the uh, one feature and we started adding one one feature. But in backward elimination, it will take the group of, group of all the features. So for example, we have F1, F2, F3, F4 and F5 and we have one target variable Y, okay? So what it will do? It will, uh, it will not take single feature, for example, it will take for first in first iteration what it will take it will take f2 f3 f4 f5 and y and apply the model find out the scope okay here it doesn't took f1 now in next thing it does it will not took f2 so f1 f3 f4 and F5. So based on this, it will apply the model and find out the evaluation scope. Okay. So in next, what it will do, it will not take F3 and take F1, F2, F4, F5, and Y. Okay. Apply the model, find out the scope. So like this, it will it will take all the features, only one feature it will not take. Okay. So, for example, in this uh, particular iteration, this uh, set of features perform the best. So, it will move ahead with this set of features for the second iteration. So, in second iteration, what it will do? It will start with this particular feature. So, for, uh, for now, we have F1, F2, F4, and F5. Okay. So, it will not take F1. It will, it will take F2, F4, F5, and Y. And it will perform the find out the scope. Again, it will not take here F2. It will take F1, F4, F5, Y. Apply on the model, find out the scope. Then again, it will not take F4. It will take F1, F2, F5 and Y. Apply the model, find out the score. Okay, so like this, it will, it eliminated one more feature up to second iteration. Next, in third iteration, what it will do? So for example, in this iteration, this performed the best. So it will take this as a, uh, <coughs> this feature and take out F1, F2, Y, apply the model and find out the score. Okay, so like that, it will take all po possible combinations here. So like F2, F5. Why? So, uh, apply the scope. So, like this, now if this particular uh, set of features performed good, so it will take this to the next iteration. So, it will go up to the, uh, it will perform the iteration until we get the desired number of features. Okay. So, what is the difference between forward uh, feature selection and backward elimination method? In forward selection method, it was taking single, single features and adding the one one feature in uh, one one iteration while in backward elimination uh, method it took set of the features and it is removing one one feature in each each iteration okay based on the score obtained okay so let's come to the third method that is exhaustive feature selection technique So what happens in exhaustive feature selection technique? It uses basically greedy search algorithm. Okay. Greedy search algorithm. Okay. So in greedy search algorithm, what will happen? It will use all the possible uh, combination of the feature. It will use all the possible combination. All the possible combination of features okay so it will start with for example f1 it apply the model find the score f2 
applied on model find the score. Then it will take two features F1 and F2. Then it will take F1, F2, F3, three features, set of combinations. Then F2, F3, F4. Then four features, F1, F2, F3, F4. So it will take basically all the uh, combination of the features and find out in which combination the score is more. But what the disadvantage of this, uh, this method? That it takes lots of time. Okay, obviously it will take a lots of time as it is taking each and every combination. And uh, for that, uh, it will take too much of resources. But the advantage is you will get the right number of features, right? So in this, we have to, uh, uh, we have, what inputs we have to give? You have to give number minimum number of features, minimum number of features, and the maximum number of features. Okay, we have to tell to the uh, method that how many minimum number of features you have to consider and up to how many maximum number of features you have to consider. So, for example, you have total 100 features. Okay, so minimum number you are giving 5 and maximum number you are giving 20. Okay, so it will start with the 20 co uh, 5 combination F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 and it will go uh, up to 20 number of features. Okay, so each and every combination it will take for five number of features, for six number of features, for seven number of features, up to 20 number of features. Okay, so whatever combination of feature will perform better, it will select that particular subset. Okay, so this is all about the wrapper method. So we'll continue this uh, feature selection and we'll uh, find out what are embedded uh, methods of feature selection in our next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care.